Hi folks, my name's Joe Patterson. Thank you for stopping by my YouTube channel. <clears throat> I'd like to visit with you if you'll put up with me. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, let us endure together some conversation, weighty, urgency. The word the Holy Spirit gave me today and brings me to tears many times. Urgency. Are you still under the control of Satan? Have you overcome the world? Have you tested this in, in Christ? Have you examined yourselves to see that you're of the faith? Know what that means. Correctly divide this word in Christ. How do you do it? Do you have anybody that you respect on this earth in Christ that you see maybe as a leader, a mature brother or sister? Maybe you should visit with them. Pray to God together. Ask God to reveal the truth to you so that you can examine yourselves to see that you're of the faith. Have you overcome the world? Have you overcome Satan? Are you still under his control? Let me give you some examples of testing. If you still love the world and the things in it, you have not overcome the world. You are still under the control of the devil, thus making you an enemy to God. This is the truth. I just quoted scriptures to you. Google them. Look for them, read them, pray about it, cry out to God. All right, here's some examples of how you know whether you still love the world or the things in it. What is the way of the world? Let me give you an example of this particular situation. Here's the situation. Jesus the Christ, the Son of the living God, Messiah, Yeshua, taught love your enemies bless those who curse you do not repay wrong for wrong vengeance is God's he will repay not yours justice belongs to the Holy One God he is the judge the world says it's okay to kill your enemies for the right cause. Do you understand that what the world teaches is, is the exact opposite of what Christ Jesus taught? The world sets up a system under still under the control of our God who created all things, but God, remember, gave the kingdoms of the earth to the devil. So the devil rules over people with fear. Fear, fear. Why don't people attack the United States? Because of fear. They're afraid of its military. They're afraid of its economic might and its allies. Fear. That's why. Fear. I'm afraid. I'm afraid to come against the United States or China or Russia. All of these would be considered to be superpowers. Superpowers governed by what? What principality? What spirit rules over these governments? Fear. Afraid, afraid, afraid that if I come against you, you'll blow me up. You've got nuclear weapons. You've got bigger uh, armies and more numbers, more boots on the ground, all that stuff, whatever. More planes, more drones. Fear. Using what? The weapons of this world. Whom did the Holy Spirit... What weapons are we called to use? <clears throat> what does the Holy Scriptures teach? What does the Holy Spirit teach? That we do not use... Who's we? We who follow Christ, who claim to love Him and obey Him. We do not use the weapons of this world. Okay, so if you're still thanking people for their service, serving how as a military soldier, for the, your freedom, and you thank them for their service, you are still under the control of the devil. Your mind is still receiving that freedom comes from those who govern with the God of this world's mentality, fear. Okay? You're not under
under true freedom, you are still bound. And the freedom that you desire are freedoms that God says are wicked. These are pure facts, folks. I can prove these things if we spend time together. Videos are short. The longer they are, the less people watch them. So they got to be short, sadly, because people's hunger is very little. Very little. You're trained by TikTok and all kinds of things. TikTok, TikTok, TikTok. You got very low tension span. You got to have about a minute video. A minute. After a minute, lose your attention. It's insane. But if you love God, you'll hang in there. If you're still under the control of the devil, you're still believing that you can make this world a better place. Jesus the Christ did not come to make the world a better place. He came to call his people to repentance and come out of the world, dwell here as long as you live as strangers and aliens. It is a temporary place. It is not your home. Where our citizenship is above those who love God and follow after his ways, our citizenship are, is above, it is in heaven, it is not here. So if you're still voting and taking, uh, uh, and you're taking uh, root in those things, your mind is still uh, taking advantage, believing that, that you can vote, uh, vote Christians in. I had somebody ask one time, Joe, what would this government be like if there weren't any Christians in it? And I'm like, well, look what it's like with them in it. Are you kidding me? Everybody, not every, the, the Holy Spirit says, not everyone who says that Jesus is the Christ is of Christ. There are many confessors, my friends. So, the scripture by the Holy Spirit says, do not become entangled with the affairs of this world. You're trying to complete, uh, please your commanding officer, of which is who? Christ. And those that Christ has set over you to oversee, those apostles, those pastors and deacons and preachers and overseers they are, and teachers are there for a reason. If indeed they are truly sent of God, they are there to help bring you to the unity of the faith in Christ, to bring you to a maturity where you can produce a fruit, where you've overcome the world. You're no longer believing the lies of this world. You're no longer believing or acting like the world. <clears throat> You're no longer worried about what will I do if I don't have insurance? Oh my gosh, what will I do if I go to the hospital and I can't pay? What will I do? And you're no longer living in fear, fear, constant fear, constant worry. If you're still doing all that, you are still under the manipulative force of Satan the devil, which operates out of fear and doubt. <sighs> It's better to die with faith than to live without it. Anyway, if you can hear this, I hope you can. I hope you're still around. I hope you haven't got bored. Oh, boy, this guy's just ranting and raving. And who is he anyway? What authority? And I tell you by what authority. The authority that all of us who love God and obey God should have. The authority of Christ, the authority that God has given me to tell you these things, not just you, but myself. I live in this. You've got to let go of the thinking of this world. Your mind has got to be transformed and made new. You've got to become like little children or you will perish in the world and go to the pit where it goes. <clears throat> you cannot live faithless and please God. So if you don't examine yourself to see that you're even of the faith, and what is the faith? The faith is believing what Jesus taught and putting it into practice. That's the faith. Jesus taught to love your enemies. Bless those that curse you. If somebody strikes you on one cheek, turn the other cheek also. He said to feed your enemy. If he's hungry, give him something to drink. Give him a cloak. If someone asks for your cloak, give him your tunic as well. If they ask you to walk a mile, walk two. Jesus has called us to lay our lives down for the sake of brethren. When you have a temptation, when you've got every reason to hate, God has called us to love. When you have every reason to hit somebody or to kill somebody, God has called us to bless those that curse us. To love your enemies and pray for them. 
God has called us to hang out with those people who the world despises. <clears throat> hang out mean this. Doesn't mean hang out with drug addicts and and, and uh, drunks and, and liars and not that. Not that at all. But to not be afraid to associate with people that the world despises and calls stupid or dumb or whatever. Even the world despises child molesters. And all that. I don't hang out with any child molester. If less they've repented, the world despises child molesters and thieves and all. Whether they repented or not, they don't care. We are called to show mercy and kindness and to forgive just as we've been forgiven, just as we've been shown mercy, just what we've been shown kindness. We are called to be like our Father in heaven. And some people have turned from terrible lifestyles. That's the despise I'm talking about. The world still despises them because it don't forgive, it don't forget. We are called to be different, be separate, dwell here as strangers and aliens. Anyway, this is as long as the video I suppose needs to be. I only touched on about three subjects. There are so many more to go over in the testing of seeing that you've overcome Satan and that you've overcome the world and that you are free from the lies of the devil. If none of this prompts your interest and doesn't formulate in you an urgency, and we do not share agreement in the spirit, my friend, because I am very, very, very accessible and available to anyone who would like to visit about these things. I will gladly give you my phone number. Call me. We'll go over these things together. I ha All you have to do is email me or leave a comment on this video. I've got comments uh, blocked where I have to approve them. Take a little bit. I try to check it often. Um, you can email me at... Uh, 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 I think it's uh, Joe C. Patterson uh, 63 at gmail.com. There you go. And it's probably listed even on my uh, my channel. If you go to about or whatever, I think it's got my email on there. You can contact me and I will give you personal, I'll give you my phone number and we can visit. This is urgent. We should be available to one another. What else are you supposed to do with the time that God has given you? The time isn't your own. If you belong to God, you're not your own. The time is His time. Anyway, I pray that this will find agreement with you and that you will hunger and thirst for righteousness as I do, or even more. Till next time, my name is Joe Patterson.